Hello everyone, see me craft here, and so last time, meaning yesterday, I showed you this Lost Santa Adventure map, which I thought was pretty cool. Me and Raspberry 2 played it, so, but today, I'm going to show you an awesome Christmas themed mod. So, we're just going over the bridge, destroy the minecart. And we go back this way, apparently, which is kind of funny, but, you know, not what I need right now. Okay, so, we have Day 11, Holiday Mod. It's actually called Holiday Festivities, but I couldn't fit it on the sign, so. Here's some footage of me and two of my little sisters talking about the Hello, mod. Hello, everyone. See me craft here, and I'm just holding up this nice little blacksmith through the night, getting my game onto not peaceful mode, and looking out the window and saying, <gasps> What the? What's going on in Minecraft? Why is there snow in my nice plains biome? Um, maybe it's just some sort of trick with the window. Um, what's with the snow globes? <laughs> this is the holiday festivity, I mean the Christmas festivities mod. And I'm joined today my my two... My little sisters. She two said it. My little sister. Two of his little sisters. Alright, do you want to say anything? You can go into the snow globes. All you have to do is look at it and wait. We'll get, and, and we'll get to that later. First, I... Oh, so... This mod comes with its own custom texture pack. That's automatically with the mod. So it makes grass look like snow grass. It makes reefs on the doors. All sorts of stuff. It also, and so the villagers also decorate for Christmas in this mod. Nice little ornaments. There's some random North Pole markers everywhere. Really cute everywhere? mod. Everywhere? Yes, everywhere. Anyways, so that's basically what's going on in the village. So let's go back over to the blacksmith, where we have these are snow globes and you just make these so you can make the snow globe that looks sort of like the overworld just by making just by four snowballs arranged like this it gives you a snowflake then if you make a snowflake sort of how you would make a beacon but it's instead of obsidian it's two blocks of wood and a gold piece so we just put those in like so and snow globe so you can just put that down and enjoy it Yay! now for the other kind of snow globe you need what's called a diamond snowflake. So you just take a snowflake, put it in the middle, surround it by four diamonds, and... It's a diamond snowflake. Yes, diamond snowflake. And you need the diamond snowflake for this snow globe. You make it the same as you would the other snow globe, but with a diamond snowflake instead of a normal snowflake. So, bing, boom. Do you want to say anything? Uh, I love snow globes. So that makes the portal snow globe. Why is it called the portal snow globe? Well, when you look, when you look at it, you get to... <laughs> You get really close, and then you look really closely at it, and it what just happens? Do you know what happens? You fall, and take no fall damage, 
god, what's this? <gasps> this this is a new dimension called the Kringle that comes with the mod pack. I mean with the mod, not the mod pack. And there are a few awesome things with the Kringle. First of all, we have these candy cane logs. And there are... Candy canes! Real ones! So... Let's get the spot creeper egg. And let's see one of the ways you can get candy canes. So. So it explodes. And it explodes candy canes everywhere. Look, candy canes. Okay, so that's the... So you can get candy canes like that. You can craft them. Oh, hold on. You can craft them like this to get a candy log. Which you could then just put it in on its own and it gives you four candy canes. Now if you take four candy logs and arrange them in a square like this, you get 16 candy planks. planks. Now you can't make stairs or slabs out of the planks, but they look nice. They're all nice and white. Alright, so over here, so if we put a candy log in the furnace and cook it up like this, then you get in a piece of oak wood and we all know what oak wood does so over here we have these caddies and if you arrange them like this on a crafting table it gives you four candy canes so that's what candy canes are and then over here we have mints. Now with mints, you can put the mint leaf, which you get. F now at the moment, I'm not. I don't think these actually like work right, but you can. You just plant them on normal tilled soil. So I think if you put the mint leaf at the bottom, you get mint oil. And then, if you take the mint oil and sugar, and you put it on this candy table, like this, you get white candy. And this is how you, so here's how you make a candy table. You need four stone, two glass bottles, an iron ingot, a cauldron, and a furnace. So, cauldron goes here, furnace there, ironing got there, glass bottles here and here, and then four on, and then stone on the corners. And you get a candy workbench, not a candy table, a workbench, sorry. So, that's all of the recipes in that chest. Now, over here, so we all, so I already showed you the white and red candy recipe to make candy co canes, not candy cord, but you can mix the ca the white candy with any dye, and it'll give you that color of candy, so we can make it red candy, brown candy, any color of dye. So like, here there's licorice you can make by doing that, lime candy, lemon candy, pink swirls, pumpkin snaps, squid sweets, chocolate bar, a lot of different candies you can make. So, and we also, so if you put the cocoa beads and milk together, you get... this. You get chocolate milk. Yay! You get hot chocolate. 
Yeah, so you can drink that. I'm not actually sure what it effects it has. Here, let me see. Slash game mode zero. So I'll just like run around. Get hungry. Okay, we won't experiment with that that time. We won't experiment with that. Get back into your world. Probably gives anyway, probably gives you a few. No, don't don't guess. Alex, do you get Jack and Mel? I can't fly. I'm just jumping out. Okay, so. Chocolate milk. And if you put that in a furnace, like this, guess what you get? Wait for it. Hot chocolate. One cool thing about the Kringle is like, is the snow can lay in two layers or one layer. See, one layer, two layers. Alright, so that's the candy stuff. Now for the mobs. Right, why don't we just get the mob eggs real quickly? Because they appear to have despawned. Ice man. And. Uh, Creeper. Alright, so I'll just put my creepers in over here because they appear to have despawned somehow. And then over here I'll put an ice man in. He's in the cage, right? I'll just put him there. Okay. okay, so let's start with. The Ice Man. Ice Man by Simicraft. <sighs> the Ice Man is a hostile mob that spawns in the Kringle. It uses ice balls as projectiles and drops snowballs upon death. So, ice balls, they do a lot of damage. Trust me. And snowballs. So if I just punch him, you'll see that they'll start throwing ice balls at you. They look kind of like blazes and make the same sound, so... Who's that? So... So right here we have a penguin. And let's read about penguins. That's... Penguins are passive mobs that spawn in the Kringle. They drop nothing upon death. So they're just cute. Are they cute? We can be pets. Are they cute? Yeah, and we can also be pets. Anyway, so... Hi. So now let's go over here to these guys. Candy Creepers. The Candy Creeper is a hostile mob that spawns in the Kringle and has one in... It has a 1 in 30 chance to spawn when a normal creeper spawns in the overworld. It has an explosion two-thirds the size of a normal creeper. It drops candy canes when it blows up, otherwise it drops gunpowder upon death. So let's just see. Alright, so let's just demonstrate that. So I'll get my nice trusty diamond sword out. Alright. So, gunpowder. Just like a normal creeper drops. 
but if we just so if we whack this guy, this time explode. As we saw earlier, he drops candy canes upon death. Okay, so let's go in here and turn this game mode to peaceful, so you don't have to listen to all those ice men. Okay. So here we have candles. Candles. Now we can make the normal thin candle just with a die and a string on top of it. So that just gives you your normal standard candle. Candles it can't be placed on wall, but you can place it on the floor. It gives off light. I think less than a torch. Anyway, so we also have these large candles. They're also large candles. So to make a large candle, you take three of the dye and put it, and then put a string on top, and that gives you three large candles. See, like the other ones, they could be placed on the floor but not the wall. They make ice sounds when they break breaking glass and breaking ice sounds. And then finally we have the fancy candle. So you just take a glass pane and a large candle and it becomes a fancy candle which is surrounded by glass. So that's candles. And then also we have this new special kind of glass called the I think frosted window or something. Anyways, you need a block of ice and four glass panes. So, block of ice in the, in the middle, four glass panes around it, and you get four frosted window panes. So, that's that. The rest of the demonstrations I have set up in the overworld. So, let's go over there now. Oh, and this will be a perfect opportunity to tell you how you get to the overworld from the Kringle. You don't even know how you get back to the overworld. My flying isn't working very well right now. I blame the lag. Yeah, I would have normally just flew up here. So in the Kringle, on these big trees, spawns the, spawns inside, it's the candy beacon. Which basically flies you up like this. And then once you reach a certain height, it transports you back to the overworld. Unfortunately, to actually, you know, get back to the overworld, you have to save it quick and then re-get back in. So, I'll just get that. What do you think of the mod so far? I love it! It was great. Y yeah, it's... Unfortunately, you'll spawn, like, inside blocks lots of the time. So, make sure you have a pickaxe on you if you're in survival mode. To so stop the suffocation. If you take suffocation damage from spawning inside that, I don't know because it didn't happen to me in survival mode. Anyway, so if we go up here, okay, so we have ornaments like the ones that the villagers were decorating their houses with. So, the way you make an ornament is... Okay, I'll get to that later. 
the way you make an ornament is you need three pieces of glass and a golden hook. At the time of this recording, there is no way to legitimately make a golden hook, so... There... So that gives you a normal white ornament. But if you take your normal white ornament and combine it with a die, like this, it gives you that color ornament. And you can just place these anywhere. They have to be either hanging off something like directly under something or directly next to something otherwise they won't place and now for the final thing in this mod the ice so in this mod it's br there is an ice breaker which you can craft like this or whatever it's called an ice drill so that could basically get ice without breaking it's like a like a silk touch tool would be able to and so you can then take the ice and craft it into cobblestone looking ice which you can then craft into cracked ice bricks which you can then craft into hold on which you can then craft into ice bricks, which you can then craft into can I make chiseled ice bricks. And I think that's just about everything in this mod. Oh, except for fireplaces. These are awesome. They they give off actual light, but they can never catch anything on fire. So the way you craft those is you need three netherrack two iron bars and a flint and steel. So you just three netherrack on the bottom, two iron bars on either side, and the flint and steel. And that gives you a fireplace. So you can just place those. They'll give off light. See, these are actually giving off light. And they'll never catch anything on fire, even you. And that's why I put them in the middle of this forest to prove to prove my point. And I think that's everything in this mod. What did I miss anything? Okay. That's fun. I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think they can tell. Oh, one recommendation I would make to the mod maker if you're watching this video is make the vines more snowy kind. Because when I was trying to find a village, I spawned in a jungle at one point, and it kind of looks weird that the jungle leaves are all snowy, but the vines are still bright, lush green. So, if you're watching that, that maybe. If you're watching this, that may be something you want to change. And until next time, we've been SimiCraft. And Katie and Sammy. And do you want to say the end part? Say, Art, Art, you need to say. Sorry. Don't. You need to say. We'll catch you in the next episode, okay?